Hello everyone, my name is Yad Hazim and I am a Salesforce developer at ITG. Today I will talk about Salesforce OMS and how we can customize it. So, why we need OMS? First, to organize order and returns, so, to make a communication between our uh, commerce site and warehouse system, communicate with shipping vendor like UBS, FedEx. Or communicate with payment provider like Adyan Cyber Source. Now let's talk about order status in OMS. When we send order to OMS, the OMS will create an order object with waiting approved status. So first order status is waiting approved. In this case, we should go to OMS admin console and approve this order. After approving order, the status will be updated to be waiting allocation. In this case, we, we should assign and allocate all order item to package to prepare item to ship. And we should uh, assign uh, a package to specific warehouse. For example, if we have order XYZ, and this order contains three items, A, B, and C, and we want to assign item A and B to package number one, and assign item uh, C to package number two, then the assign, uh, uh, then we should assign package number one to warehouse, for example, uh, uh, Arizona warehouse, and assign uh, package number two to New York uh, warehouse. So after allocating all order item, the order status will be updated to waiting fulfillment. So uh, after I get all or, or, or after I get all order items, the order status will be updated to waiting fulfillment, and this means waiting ship all items. So after ship all packages, the order status will be closed. So to summarize all order status, first waiting approved, two waiting allocation, three waiting fulfillment, four close off. There is also another two steps, void to cancel order and suspend, suspend order. So why we need customization? It's impossible to go to OMS console and approve each order or allocate each order. So we can write a custom code to automate this process. For sure, OMS provides setting to approve order automatically or allocate item. But usually we don't use this, uh, this because at most time we want to write a custom logic or do a custom checks before approving uh, or allocating item. So the second reason to customize OMS is to add uh, a custom logic between order workflows. OMS supporting a lot of payment provider like PayPal, Apple Pay, Adyen, CyberSource, Klarna. But sometimes we, we need to integrate with payment provider and this provider did not support it by OMS, like a glitch. So we need, a customize, uh, we need to customize OMS to accept this provider. Same thing with the shipping vendor. So we need customization to automate order workflow, write a custom logic before, go to next step, integrate with unsupported payment provider or payment vendor. From my experience, I think this is the main reason to customize OMS. Now, how we can customize OMS? Salesforce provide to us a REST API, and we can use this API uh, to communicate with OMS. For example, we can use API to build to pull all waiting approval orders, then we can approve them. Or we can pull order details and do a sum checks and save a value on custom attribute. Or we can pull order uh, orders and make some updates on that and, and order data. I would like to highlight Salesforce OMS can be used by any e-commerce system like uh, WebSphere, Magento, Shopify, and Salesforce itself. But if we are using Salesforce Cloud Commerce, the Salesforce give us more advantage. Like uh, the order will be flowing from website 
to OMS automatically without any interact from us. Or uh, we can sync catalog data between our website and uh, OMS uh, easily. Or we can do a payment method mapping or shipping mapping. Three, we can communicate with OMS using script API. And this is the important one. So uh, we can customize OMS in two ways. One, REST API and this for all e-commerce system. Two, script API and this for only SRCC. Now, I, I will show you an example of REST API. If you can see the postman, this is an example for uh, REST API to get order details. We just pass order ID into path parameter and click send. If you can see, we received a response and we received some general data like uh, shipping total, uh, total allocated, order status, waiting uh, fulfillment, or waiting, waiting shipping, in other words. Uh, customer information, billing address, etc. But if you notice, uh, we don't receive any information about order items or payment method or these some extra information. So if we want more details, we can use expand parameter. And when we using expand parameter, we can request more data in the same, we can request more details. Now I will use expand parameter and I will pass. I want attribute details and order item details. And now you can see some custom attribute has embroidered product, SRCC side, etc. Attribute. This is this is all custom attribute in into order level. Now we can see ship to address and order item. And this is order item, and this is custom attribute on order item. Um, there, uh, there is a special documentation for uh, order management ABI. Uh, we you can see order ABIs. Okay, there is a lot of ABI orders to create uh, order record. If we are using a Salesforce Cloud Commerce, we don't need this. ABI create order because the order is flowing from website to OMS automatically. Get order, we can use this. Uh, this is the most important ABI advice to execute. We can execute an, uh, an instruction through, through this ABI, for example, alert, allocate the order, uh, approve order, close order. Now, I will share this documentation with you after this time. Now, let's take another example about uh, script API. Okay, uh, script API. In, th in this example, uh, we will know or learn how we can write uh, a code, and this code will communicate with OMS directly. Uh, this code is for approve order. So uh, as I mentioned previously, if we want to approve order, we should go through OMS admin console and approve order. But if we want to automate this process, we should write a job and this job we sh should execute code something like that to approve order. So at first, sorry. At first, uh, I will include the uh, or required package. And if you are noticed, uh, the OMS packages start with DWOM. So all OMS packages start with DWOM. Now uh, we should uh, prepare a request or order request to communicate with OMS. Uh, uh, we will define a variable called advanced request, new order. 
order advice request. Now we, we should assign the order GUID to the order request. The order GUID is uh, something like order GUID in, in SFCC site. We can also pass order ID or order normal ID instead of that. Now we, will sh will we should define the instruction. In this case, we want to approve order, so we'll define order uh, uh, order advice instruction approved. And after we define the approved uh, instruction, we should approve, we, sh we should add approved instruction into request. Uh, the one request can accept, can accept more than one instruction. After we prepare our request, we should send this request to AMS to AMS orders dot order MGR execute advice. The, uh, this execute advice or this syntax is equivalent to this API. Order, uh, order advice execute. Now, unfortunately, I cannot execute this code because I don't have any test environment. Now, let's take another example of uh, log an event. Okay. In this example, we will log uh, an event and message on customer object. Basically, at first, we will include or require packages and the classes. Then we will set up a request for customer. In a previous example, uh, we set up request for order orders. Now we will we should set up a request for customer. A new customer the customer advice request. We should assign the customer GUID to this request. Now we should define the instruction. Uh, in this case, we want to log an event, so we will uh, define a customer instruction log event. And this uh, instruction accepts more attributes like creator, uh, event ID, uh, source, description, event time information. There is uh, a lot of types like errors, debug, warn. And we will send the instruction to OMS. And there is a lot, a lot of example. I will share this documentation with you so you can explore this documentation and read a lot of examples and enjoy. And this is a quick introduction about OMS and how we can customize it. I hope you are enjoyed about this quick trip. If anyone has any question, you can reach me on Slack or email. Thank you for listening. Bye bye. <laughs>